Good afternoon. I'm standing on Franklin Road and we're here to see a house in White Heather Drive, which is tucked away down this long driveway between these beautiful old Victorian villas on the Franklin Road. Just so you know where we are, we're directly opposite the co-op and the little Texaco garage. If I look uh, to my southwest, oh sorry, to my northwest, that is the town centre, is literally a five, ten minute walk, or well, not even ten minute, five minute walk in that direction. And if I look up to the southeast, top of the road is the Princess Royal Hospital. Literally two roads on the left, you've got Eastern Road where you have St Wilfrid's Primary School. And uh, there's several other, you've got the Warden Park Primary and the St Joseph's Roman Catholic Primary School in that direction. So everything's a little bit closer than you think here. But the lovely thing about these, even though the Franklin Road uh, used to be the A272 until the town was bypassed, these houses were built in the, uh, the gardens of these properties. And interestingly, would you believe, this house here and a range of outbuildings just here, this has been uh, not demolished and rebuilt, but this was the old laundry to the Priory. So the old Haywards Heath Priory, this was the laundry premises there. And then a, a developer uh, called Shire Barnes Limited, they got hold of this. So they refurbished that semi. They managed to buy a bit of garden off of one neighbor and then built these, uh, obviously the little bungalow there and these three really big two bedroom houses. And we're about to see the middle one, the one with the red door. And just so you know, because obviously there's three of you up here, you've all got plenty of parking. And this property here has got those two parking spaces. So the red and the gray car is theirs. Obviously you could park more cars in front. So you could actually put four cars there quite easily. But yeah, come and have a look. So if you look back down there, you'd never know we're off the Franklin Road because obviously you're behind this wall of houses. So it's a really lovely little quiet spot down here. So come inside. I'm just gonna put my mask on and take my shoes off. So I'm sorry if I'm sounding slightly muffled. So, initially, downstairs, nice size entrance hall with a big understairs cupboard. And you've got a downstairs loo. Obviously it's downstairs, apologies. Pretty little basin, really nice suite. All spotlessly clean. The people here are only moving because they've now outgrown the house with babies. And then look at this living room. This is huge, this is massive. This is a lot wider um, than a lot of living rooms you're gonna get in a house. Lovely big window overlooking that. They're, they're quite deep windows, so that is actually facing southwest there, or southeast actually, I think that's facing. And then you've got this enormous living area. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a wall across that and not have it quite so open plan, but this is the way we sort of live these days. I'll take you to the garden in a moment. A really nice, fully enclosed garden with the terrace. But what a great big room. This, obviously camera doesn't really do it justice, but this is a very wide room. I'd, I'd say this is probably two or three feet wider than a normal lounge dining room in a house of this age. And then really nice kitchens, a great big sort of breakfast bar with various appliances. So this lovely stove's seven burner uh, range oven, they're leaving that, they're happy to leave that there. Washing machine is not included, but that's got a dishwasher and then a big fridge freezer in that tall cupboard. But really nice, it's been really looked after. They've got the wooden worktops, which are absolutely spotless. And if you're gonna do the washing up, that's not a bad outlook. And then come upstairs. The developers, when they did these houses, they could have easily made these into three beds because it's over 900 square feet. Most three bedroom houses on these new developments are no bigger than that. But the thing is with this house, as you'll see now, is it had this great big landing, which, the owners have actually put a desk up here, so it's the home office. That's just the airing cupboard. And that's got the Velux window looking back down the driveway. And they've got the blackout blinds on that, so if you want to make this all very dark, you certainly can. And then the little bedroom at the front, our angel suite. Nice size room again, great big window like that lounge. And it's got, as you can see, a big double wardrobe in here as well. And come around, have a look at the main bedroom. It's a great big bedroom here with another set of wardrobes. Plenty of space, as you can see, for chests and drawers. You could put more wardrobes in there if you wanted to, really easy. And then the big window overlooking the rear garden. You've actually got quite a distant view there, all the way across to towards the Ashdown Forest, but it's a bit hazy over there today. And then the bathroom. Again, really nicely fitted suite with a vanity unit, and you've got the overshaped bath with a big shower over. And this is that view I've taken. So 
the houses over to your right, that's the back of uh, Western Road. And over to your left there, oh, sorry, that's Western Road to your left. Over to the right is Eastern Road. That's where some, uh, some Wilfrid's Primary School is. But you can't see it on this camera, but that's quite a decent view across there. Yeah, great big bit of space. So like I say, airing cupboard, another big storage cupboard on the landing. But handy little office area for those that want a home office. And then come out to the back garden. Shoes. You can walk to everything, like I say, I mean, Franklin Road, which we've just come from, uh, there's a bus service running down there. Obviously the little co-op store is great for all your basic daily needs. But if you want to get down to the station, the station is just over a mile on foot. And then come outside. Quite a nice sized garden. Haven't got the measurements handy, but I'm guessing it's about 35 feet by about 20, 20 25 feet wide. You get an idea. But really nice, a good sized house. So if you're after, uh, well, I mean, this is quality, or this is quantity over quality as well, but this house offers it all. If you just want a two bedroom house with a study area, then this house is as big as you're gonna get a little two bedroom house, especially in a really prime little position like this in Hayward Seat. And obviously it has a nice garden and plenty of parking. That's the other thing with these little new houses, you don't get much parking. But there you go, that's number three, White Heather Drive. If you'd like to live in a house with this big kitchen living area, please give our Hayward Teeth office a call.